welcome to the Crystal Mermaid New Moon in Gemini Crystal Tarot Reading. My name is Jessica. I am a holistic mystic dietitian here to nourish and raise the galactic consciousness with gifts from the earth and beyond. For today's Crystal Tarot Reading, we are tapping into multiple energies because this is a multi-faceted new moon. It is a new moon in the sign of Gemini, the sign of communication and duality, the twins, the two faces, both the light and the dark. It's also a sun in Gemini, so we have this double Gemini energy playing a role in all of the frequencies that are existing in the present space that's around us and influencing us over the next two week cycle. So not only do we have the double Gemini, but the new moon is happening at 22 degrees of, Gem of uh, Gemini. So we also have that double two in there with our numerology. So the stone that I was called to share for this 2018 new moon in Gemini is smoky quartz. Smoky quartz, like this new moon that we're having, is very multifaceted in its energetic and metaphysical properties. Smoky quartz is a beautiful stone that carries with it both light and darkness. If the stone is underneath the ground, the quartz keeps this dark, smoky color. Once it's exposed to the sun, the lightness appears. So very much the hidden side as well as the exposed side of where the energetic balance is right now. Smoky quartz operates on multiple frequency levels. I have a gorgeous specimen here, a very large specimen with multi, multi-terminations coming out the edge. And that really represents to me the multiple frequencies of the smoky quartz crystal. This is most well known for its energetic property of transmutating, transforming negative energies, negative thoughts, negative patterns into something that is positive and prosperous, something that is good for us rather than something that weakens us, such as negative thoughts. There is something about removing, using smoky quartz to remove negative energy patterns. It's very potent in this way. It's very powerful but yet smoky quartz acts in a wonderfully gentle way to remove these negative patterns and rather promote our personal pride and our joy. So really helping us bring forth the light within ourselves. And not that there's anything wrong with the darkness, not that there's anything wrong with the shadows, but it's time to release that hidden aspect to let go of fears. We are in an 11 portal year, 2018, adds up to the number 11. Again, duality, the 11, the one in the one creating a portal. And the entire year of 2018 is offering us multiple points to walk through this portal into higher activation of our higher selves. So what can we do with this energy? Well, the first six months of the year, the first half of the year, we're warming up to it. We're getting used to it. We are um, aligning our own frequencies with that 11 portal energy. We're now entered into the second half of the year. And that speed at which those frequencies and the energies that are around us are, are picking up is just getting faster. The second half of an 11 portal year is the stronger half in the sense of our actions matching with our communications and creating manifestations. A new moon time is all about setting new intentions, renewing particular intentions, 
so that we can go through these cycles of manifestation and of growth. So the smoky quartz is tapping into that energy as well and is very prolonged in its power. So like I mentioned, it is powerful and it is potent. It's also prolonged in the effects that it can have on our energetic beings as users of smoky quartz, wearers of smoky quartz, or carrying smoky quartz. I like to carry a piece of smoky quartz with me as it helps to encompass my energetic fields with protection so that we're not exposed and as vulnerable to negative energies, negative thoughts, and other unwanted energetic vibrations from the world around us. So it really provides a really nice, peaceful, gentle barrier while still allowing us to receive what it is that we need to come from a place of compassion, come from a place of love and peace. So with this smoky quartz power, I have drawn two cards from the Crystal Mermaids um, Tarot of Mermaids, <laughs> my preferred tarot deck. And these two cards are helping us in this energetic time and space that we're in with this new moon in Gemini and this sun in Gemini, this duality and the speed at which manifestation can happen if we tap into the energies that are available to us and do something with them. So the first card that I've drawn from the Tarot of Mermaids is the three of chalices and I've pulled this card in a reverse position. The three of chalices is kind of a harsh card in reverse. It is rather than a happy ending, it is a more harsh or realistic ending to certain things. In order to move forward in this second half of the year, we have to sometimes end certain things. And that can be frustrating. Um, conclusions to things can be frustrating because it might not be what we think we want at the time, but it is, it is actually something we need. And this card is also reminding us to mourn something if we are letting it go. And if, if it's been a friendship, a relationship, um, anything that you might, a job, something that you're letting go of, there might be frustrations around, around it, and it might not be the happy ending that you envision around it, but it's okay to release, and it's okay to mourn. It's okay to, to grieve over a loss. Um, but just respect your own boundaries in whatever that process is in regards to um, letting go and releasing. And that's the message for the Three of Chalices in reverse during this new moon in Gemini time. And the second card that I've pulled is the Ace or the One of Swords. And I pulled this in an upright position. This card gives us power, it gives us strength, and it reminds us that we have choice, we have free will. And we also have the wherewithal and the will to use our power, our strength, and our choice to benefit ourselves for the greater good of ourselves. And by working towards the greater good of ourselves, we ultimately can be working towards the greater good of the universe and the world around us. So with that, I believe that our overall message, three of chalices in reverse, the ace of swords upright, and the power of our smoky quartz playing in with this new moon in Gemini, this sun in Gemini, and this 2000. 2018-11 portal year is really reminding us about the cycles of life. The new moon is all about cycles. The moon is all about cycles, continuous cycles. But every single cycle is different. The new moon this month is different from the new moon last month, which is different from the moon a year ago. Even when the moon is in the same signs it's been in before, there's other planetary aspects and other energetic aspects that play a role in influencing how things are expressed throughout the universe and throughout the energy that we are all existing in and living in. 
So life is a cycle, love is a cycle, relationships are a cycle. Personally, we go through cycles, we go through growth cycles, we go through life cycles, you know, from being a baby in the womb to being a living infant, to being a child, to being a teenager, to being an adult, to being an older adult, and then our death cycle. So constant rebirth and renewal. So cycles of life. When we respect and honor and acknowledge these cycles of life, we can live in a way that is much more present. And the present is where we find peace. I heard a wonderful um, description of depression and anxiety a few months ago, and it's often related to where our mind space is, where our soul space is even as well. In the past, we tend to dwell in a space of depression. In the future, we t tend to dwell in a space of anxiety and worry. In the, in the present is really the only space where our being can, can, if we choose to, be peaceful and be joyful. And it's a cycle. All of it is a cycle. Past, present, future, cycle. Past, present, future, cycle. So learn from your past, but don't live there. Plan for your future, but don't live there. Live in your present moment. And hopefully with the tools that are available to you, whether they be crystals, rocks, and gemstones, essential oils, good friends and family, good food, self-love, meditation, yoga, whatever your positive outlets are for yourself. With these tools in our tool belt, we are able to live to be in our highest selves. So live in the present and respect and honor the cycles that are around us and a part of us. Thank you for joining me here at the Crystal Mermaid Crystal Tarot Reading. Step into your light and let your colors shine bright. Aho!